Hey boys and girls, well here it is. Uh, so I'm going in the sun here. We, we put down our vapor barrier uh, the last time we had video and we had put the main beam in here. Our jack posts, we have to do uh, a little bit of a reconfiguration. That's why we put the 2x4s in here for now, just to prevent our main beam from sagging uh, on, over that period of time until we get the jack posts in. Now we got our vapor barrier down this morning. We brought up, we put vapor barrier on our footing. We brought that up. We got our vapor barrier for the main house here. And now you can see that we're going to lay down our radiant floor heating mats on this side of the of the basement and just this side here, like an L shape. And then where you're going to have our root cellar, which is in this section of the house, this corner here, this rectangle, we're going to have regular uh, R10 insulation. Both have the same R factor, one radiant heating, no radiant heating for inside the roof. So she will poison you all. Just lift the vapor barrier there and you have to go Push it down a bit. <laughs> and you gotta push that a bit. And then all, what I'll do is I'll put my knee on it. Double line. Turn down. Don't compress it yet. Let's just make another line on it. We gotta get in place first in order to get the line on. Okay. So there she is boys and girls, we're putting down the uh, wire mesh now into the basement. Um, easiest way is, well the only way right now is to put it over the wall. Um, you can see from our perspective that um, 
beams in. Jack posts are still going to go. They're going to get put in this afternoon. I have the temporary posts in. In floor radiant heating is down. The um, fruit, uh, root cellar over here does not have heating. And I'm putting the wire mesh in right now. Lots of uh, stuff happening. That's awesome. Inspection this afternoon. There she is, guys and girls. There we are. Well, here we are, boys and girls. Uh, now, uh, styrofoam. So, what we have in the, this is our basement. You have the compacted uh, stone vapor barrier, two inches of styrofoam. In the fruit cellar or root cellar area, in this side here, you have um, uh, regular styrofoam. On the other side, in for the and the inspectors have arrived on scene. The big inspector right there, here he is. Yes. Okay, and girls, here we are today. We are actually going to put on our uh, waterproof self-adhesive membrane that goes on the other side of the ICF. So that it will waterproof the uh, basement. As you've seen, we have put a footing, we have put vapor barrier on our footing. So we are actually going to take ours just down, overlap our existing membrane by about two to three inches. Um, and then that's it. We've almost pounded through the, um, the old... Um, now, did you want to make a two-inch slice? Well, here, I've already made the two-inch slice in the bottom. Do now at the bottom, so for the corner. That's how it's going to get wrapped around. I understand it would be too cool. You can tell what you have in half here. No, we're not. It's going to go like this. Make the mark on that if you want. Uh, I'm just going to go like this. Because it's going to go with the 30. Seven cents. and a half, and what's that? That's much more than seven. It goes nine and a half. Oh, it's got to come over one. There, now I feel like I'm on the corner. And can you bring it up a uh, half an inch? Yeah. That's it, not more. It's too low. It might, it's too long, probably. We measured it way into the. Stuff doesn't peel. Bend that downward like that. Yep, perfect. But how much is on your side? Just hold it again. Nothing in it. Perfect. I'm going to pull it downwards. Mm -hmm. It's not sticking here. Okay. That's fine. I'll just hold it in the corner. We don't go the whole way, just go down part way. Why is it doing that? That side I'll do this way. Well, boys and girls, here it is. Um, today we're putting on the parge. I've actually done a little more than half of it at this point in time. Um, so you can see the parge goes on top of the ICF, on top of the uh, waterproof membrane. 
the waterproof membrane is below grade and the parge goes above grade. There's an overlap of around two to three inches around that where you make the overlap uh, right at the grade line. So you can see our new grade will be two and a half feet higher in the front of the house here. So we don't have um, decking that has that requires seven, eight steps. We want to reduce that to three to four steps. And it's just going to allow us to have the grade coming down nicely. That'll slope off nice as this land naturally slopes as well. So that's what you're seeing right there. We can come walk around to this side over here. And uh, <clears throat> see that this side is complete. You can tell that I did the first part over here earlier in the day as that's significantly more drier than the back side over here.